welcome to this Marvelicious Toys one-shot. They're not just toys, they're Marvelicious. They did announce the first wave of Spider-Man No Way Home figures, and I have to say I'm pretty excited for those as well. Oh yeah, ready pre-ordered. That was a no-brainer. Again, maybe I'm weird. We just did our top figures, and I kept going to the J. Jonah Jameson's but I am so happy to be getting a J.K. Simmons, J. Jonah Jameson. Hope he comes with a little bit of a toupee so we can have him from the previous world and now the new modern version. He has screaming head and mouth closed head, but neither of them have that wonderful buzz cut from the previous movie. It is clearly a no way home figure or, you know, if you're really cheeky, it's your whiplash figure. Are you swinging or are you gliding? Was that swinging or gliding? So you do know the difference. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's a good mixture wave too, you know? I mean, it, it, I think it's, you know, our our teaser of the movie wave, you know, not showing us too much. We've been seeing the, the black and gold suit Spider-Man in different toy forms for the last month or so. So we get, we get a better look at that now. We get his integrated suit from the movie, whatever that means. It sounds like probably going to be a combination of a few previous suits it looks very iron spider with the gold spider yeah. on it and things definitely and dr strange it looks like a much better dr strange than we got back with the dr strange movie i mean their face printing tech has improved so much yeah that's one that definitely needed a redo on the shelf you know the the previous dr strange wasn't terrible but now that we're getting like you said the more accurate face tech he, he's desperately needing an upgrade and then a couple comic figures, getting Morlin from Spider-Verse there, which was a great arc, although I don't know that he was a great villain. And video game Miles Morales, not holographic. Yeah, getting reuse out of that sculpt already, but the other one's a, an exclusive, so that's the way to do it. And finally, Shriek. And I've seen a lot of people on our page go like, when are they coming out with Shriek? I'm like, Shriek is in the Venom movie. They will come out with Shriek. And sure enough, this wave, which should be coming out shortly after the Venom movie to be on pegs in time for the Spider-Man movie, you finally get your Shriek. Yeah. And Armadillo Build-A-Figure. I've read a couple comics with Armadillo, but this looks like a really fun figure. <laughs> <laughs> And it's like the way they like to reuse some of these bigger bucks, you know, with overlays on them. This looks like a good, you know, base for a, a rhino or maybe, you know, a new abomination. I think that crotch is all new with its segments. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it an articulated crotch? Because that might be the first. I don't think it is. It's just sculpted segments over the private areas. Oh, I see what you're saying. His abs and the crotch do feel very almost scalish. Mm hmm But we got that great rhino just a couple years ago. I don't know that I need him to redo that as a Build-A-Figure. And a new abomination, a comic abomination, that could be cool, though. Yeah. Or just giving us a Hulk wave that I've been wanting for a long time with a lot of perhaps updates to that Fing Fang Foom wave they did years and years and years ago. Yeah, they're slowly kind of doing it, you know? Maestro is currently shipping and just got She-Hulk not too long ago. They're, they're slowly kind of redoing that. Thank you for listening to this episode of Marvelicious Toys. Marvelicious Toys is a Venganza Media production, copyright 2022. All rights reserved.